In just two weeks, Comet Leonard will become the brightest comet of this year. Some astronomers estimate that it will be visible to the naked eye by December 14, 2021. If you haven't seen any comet in your life, then this could be your chance to finally witness this spectacular event. Carry on watching this video to find out how to see the Comet Leonard in the sky, if it's visible in your country, and why it will return only in 80,000 years. Will be very interesting. This comet was discovered in January 2021 by astronomer Gregory Leonard at the Lemon Mount Observatory in Arizona. Just look at his happy face. He knows that a giant space rock now bears his name. And there are many other numbers and letters that have a very interesting meaning, but I'm too lazy to explain them. At first, many scientists reported that the comet could become even brighter than the well-known comet Neowise, but with time the expectations have become more realistic. As of November 19th, the latest observed magnitude or brightness of the comet is 8 which means that it's visible through medium-sized telescopes. The lower the number of the magnitude, the brighter the comet, and on December 12th, it's expected to become very vivid at its closest approach to our planet. It'll pass Earth at a distance of 35 million kilometers, and there is absolutely no chance that it will hit our planet. According to several possible scenarios, this comet could reach a visual magnitude between 5 and 2. If the number is lower than 5.5, then a celestial object is visible to the naked eye far from city lights. However, the comets are diffuse objects, which means that they are way fainter than stars or planets of the same magnitude. For example, I managed to see the comet Neowise when it reached a visual magnitude of 2 and it looked like a very, very dim cloud. In my opinion, the comet Leonard will have to reach the same brightness to become visible to the naked eye in light polluted areas. On December 8th, Earth will cross the orbital plane of the comet, which will make its tail look brighter, and it could even create an anti-tail that will face towards the sun. Most importantly, when Earth crosses the comet's orbital plane, we'll see a phenomenon called forward scattering. Thanks to forward scattering, the sunlight that goes through the comet's particles significantly increases the brightness of the comet. The maximum forward scattering will occur on December 14th, just two days after the comet's closest approach to our planet. Based on this, I can say that people with any telescopes and any binoculars will be able to witness the comet Leonard, and it probably will be visible to the naked eye in the dark skies by December 14th. Predictions of astronomers will certainly change, so people without optical instruments have no choice but to wait. Until mid-December, this comet will be best visible in the northern hemisphere, but later on, it will remain very low above the horizon. Therefore, conditions for observers from the southern hemisphere will improve. The comet will be moving at a speed of about 60 km per second relative to Earth, so through a telescope, you might see an insignificant change of its position in less than 30 minutes. Till the end of November, the comet will be shining at midnight in the east, right near the so-called Big Dipper. By November 30th, it should be easily visible through the smallest telescopes and 50mm binoculars. On December 2nd, it will pass very close to a bright globular cluster M3, and it will be a wonderful time to take stunning images. During the next several days, it will be located quite close to a vivid star Arcturus, and this can help beginners to locate the comet. Onward from December 12th, it will be located low above the southwest horizon just after sunset. The moon will not be shining in the sky, and thus it will be easier for you to find the comet. However, since this celestial object will be very low above the horizon, you will probably have to use binoculars or a telescope. After reaching its peak, it will slowly begin to faint and move further away from Earth. It'll still be visible to any optical instruments by the end of December. On January 3rd, 2022, it'll reach the perihelion of its orbit, or in other words, the closest point to the Sun. 
It's expected to be visible through middle-sized telescopes until February 2022 and large telescopes until March 2022. It'll continue to move further away from the Sun, just to return again in 80,000 years. Unless you want to wait for another 800 centuries, you should definitely try to see this celestial object. I think that this comet will not become as bright as the comet Neowise did back in 2020. Comet Leonard at its closest approach to Earth will be located low above the horizon, so it's better to purchase small binoculars or try to take long exposure photos on your cell phone. If you manage to take pictures of this stunning piece of space ice, send me an email or a private message on Discord. I'll show your photos in one of my future videos. And remember, comets that are visible to the naked eye pass near our planet at least every decade or so. Comet Neowise definitely wasn't a great comet, since it was barely visible in suburban areas of big cities. It's pretty possible that the next great comet will visit our part of the solar system in the next 5 or 10 years. If you want to know about other astronomical events that occur almost every week, do not forget to subscribe to our channel. And as always, thanks for watching very interesting videos, bye.